Hey YouTube, how we doing today? Well, we got something in that's kind of cool, and you may remember this. This came in the very last PMP prep box. So stay tuned after we roll that intro, and I'm going to show you exactly what it is. All right, guys, thank you so much for staying past that intro. Yeah, yeah, I know. All right, look, <laughs> it's like the longest running stupidest joke on my channel. Stay tuned. I'm going to tell you what's in this box or stay tuned. And we're going to show you what we're talking about. You guys already know what we're going to look at because you clicked on the title, clicked on the thumbnail, clicked on whatever, but it's okay. So before we go any too much further, hey, for you first time viewers of the channel, I'm going to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for finding this video. I know there's lots of options out there on YouTube, and I'm very grateful that you're giving me some of your time. Now, for you first-timers and you long-time viewers who have yet to subscribe, look down below here. You're going to see a little channel watermark popping up. Go ahead, hover over that, click on it, do whatever you got to do. It'll pull up subscribe, knock it out the way early, and you will feel so much better about yourself for the rest of the day. All right, let's get on to the fun. Today, we're going to take a look at the Real Steel Hotel 6 Dash Sierra 1 Blue Sheep. And that is this little baby right here. Now, obviously, the paracord and the little bead did not come with it. I attached that for the lanyard. Like I said, I got it in the July 2019 PMP prep box. And speaking of that box, if you'd like to see what came in there and every other PMP prep box that we've brought to the channel, look up top for that card. It's going to show you everything you need to know. All right, guys, instantly when I saw this, I fell in love with it. Just from the carbon fiber handle to just the way it looks, the way it feels, the two-tone colors, how it sits in my hand. I just opened it up and went, yeah, yeah, that's a great friggin' folder. It is beautiful in its simplicity and its design. But you know what? Let's get into the fun stuff. Oh, before we go too much further, sorry. As with most stuff, you know, you get with real steel, there's your little propaganda. And they give you neat little, you know, chamois cloth wipe down thing. But okay. So it's got an overall length of 7.75 inches. The blade is 3.375, I believe that is. Hold on, let me check my notes. Yeah, 3.375. And closed, it's about 4.375. It's got an okay weight of about 3.8 ounces. You know it's in your pocket, but it's not too heavy and over the top. And before I forget, this is a Liang, I hope I'm saying that right, gang design. And he named it after the blue sheep that basically live and roam in the Himalayas. It does have a hollow grind, a satiny finish, and you guys with my channel, you know how much I love those. Even though it doesn't look really satiny, it looks almost bead blasted, but everywhere I could find it says satin. I just, I don't know. But anyway, satin finish, drop point style, and the steel is that Sandovic 14C28N stainless steel with a Rockwell rating of about 58 to 60. Now it does have that wonderful little stainless steel frame in here. And this is what killed me and I loved it. Instantly I knew the handle was carbon fiber just because of the lightweight and the look of it. But I did not know it was a composite carbon fiber G10 mix, which I think that's just freaking awesome. There's only one way to carry it, right hand carry, tip up, and it's a very, very deep pocket clip. Seriously, it almost sits right to there, right in your pocket. Now, to open her up, you've only got the one way with the dual thumb studs, which is kind of cool. It does have a little bit of jimping right here. It's got a frame lock and a secondary push button lock. Once you get it there, the frame lock cannot close. Got to move it back. And then you can close her. Does have a lanyard hole. And, you know, in case you didn't see it on the box in the beginning, hmm, I wonder where it's made. You know, no big deal, right? Hell, I don't care. It's a freaking cool blade. I don't care where it's made as long as it gets the job done. Now, let's go on to the fun parts that we love so much here on the channel. Some heavy-duty stock paper. Now, this one, I am really curious. We're going to try to go as smooth as possible. <laughs> Look at that. One sharp blade. 
and it is sharp all the way from top to bottom. All right, paracord! Simple little pull test. Eh, not too bad. And a slice test. Right through it. And of course, our friend Mr. Ratchet Strap. Ooh, <laughs> that's because my hand, yeah. Let's try that again. There we go. And as I usually like to do, let's get it up close, take a look. I'm really not seeing anything picking up on the blade itself. No little papers, no little fibers, nothing. So that's pretty friggin' sharp right out of the box. Considering I just got this guy a couple days ago. Now, if you're wondering for price, I'm not going to include the price that PMP had to buy it at, that his retailer says, this is your manufacturer's, you know, suggested price. The only reason I don't include those is because they have to go by what people tell them. And everyone's like, oh, I can go here, find it better. Oh, there, I can find it better. So it's no stab at Jason. He does a phenomenal job over there getting us quality product. But I took a look on Amazon, Blade HQ, and RealSteelKnivesUSA.com. On Amazon, $58.50. Blade HQ, $47.60. Real Steel Knives, USA.com, $59.50. So it's right within the same amount of ballpark. So it's not like there's this huge, you know, discrepancy on the price range. It's only been reviewed twice, and that was on Blade HQ, where it got a four and a half star rating out of five. Okay. Now we've heard the tech specs, we've seen the little cut tests, we've seen the pricing. Here's the most important part of my videos that you guys know. I want to know what you think. Honestly, I do. Questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, everything down below in the comments section. Let's get a good deal going about this guy. Especially if you've got one of the real steel blue sheeps. Have you used one? Have you had one destroyed on you, you know? Do you know a buddy who's taken one out and beating the crap out of it? Not mentioning any channel names. <coughs> Woodland Tactical. <clears throat> yeah, damn, frog in my throat. You know, I, I'd like to know your guys' feedback on this thing. Okay, so let's move on to the other fun part. Man, for you first-time viewers of the channel, I want to say thank you so much once again for watching this video. I hope I earn more of your time today. Now, for you first-time viewers and you long-time viewers who have yet to subscribe, here's your second chance at redemption. Right down here, uh, there's going to be a big channel symbol popping up. Click on that thing, going to bring you right to subscribe. After you've gone ahead and knocked that out the way, please go ahead and destroy the bell icon that's right next to it. Why? Because it's going to notify you, my amazing viewer, every single time that this channel uploads a brand new video. Now, speaking of videos, two are going to be popping up on this side of the screen. That's right, right over here. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select from my catalog that they think are going to be a great viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. The Real Steel Blue Sheep Hotel 6 Sierra 1. Thank you so much for watching today, and I hope you have a good one.